What is good then boys and girls, in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your stream run dead, dead smooth, make it super smooth, make it efficient, make it viewable, make it amazing, what you guys have been looking for. So basically it's literally, it's pretty much one button that I found that made my stream super smooth, made my recording smooth, made everything amazing. So yeah, it shouldn't take long, it'll take about two minutes max, not even that, it literally as long as you've got the same settings. I'd say recommend, I'd recommend using the same settings as me because mine work, but if not use whatever you prefer, whatever you prefer, it's so much easier, it's all on whatever you want to use but this setting you need to have is the same as I've got to make sure it runs smooth. So as you guys probably notice now, if I'm moving this round or ass over here you see it's pretty it's pretty smooth in it. It's not it's not lagging, it's it's good in it, you know what I mean? But then we're gonna show you guys now what the difference is is if we turn it off. So we can always do is go to our gato of whatever it's on, go to properties, go obviously here's all the settings I've got, we've got resolution 1920 by 1080, 60 FPS, video format on any, colour range, colour space default, colour range and a full obviously and then you're going to miss the buffering audio is obviously going to capture audio only and then we go back to the buffering the buffering if you obviously is always, I put it on auto detect if you might already have it on disabled and if I ok that my screen should change here we go so my screen is changing right now and then as soon as my screen comes back on if I now just give me a second if I now move this mouse around does this look does this look choppy to you does this look as smooth as it did before if you don't quickly have a look back, look at the look back on the video Look at the difference between me moving this mouse around now and moving it around earlier. Obviously, the face cap itself doesn't change. It's got nothing to do with the Elgato. But then now we're going to turn it back on just to show you the difference. It's obviously, I'm going to have a bit of a screen change again. So we'll turn it back on auto detect. OK. My screen is going to flash black. And then it's going to come back on. As soon as it comes, comes back on, I'll do the circle thing again. And you should notice the difference. If you don't, then I'll be surprised. But here you go. So there's, there you go. The big difference on my screen now. It looks smooth as well. If you look, because obviously we've got all this background now, so I can see on my screen that it's a lot smoother than it was. It feels a lot more efficient. It feels a lot more smoother, and that's what I mean. So this, that's probably the biggest setting to change. Obviously, you've got all your other settings. That that's all up to you. Whatever you prefer, whatever your internet speeds are, all stuff like that. But yeah, guys, that's literally all I've got for you today. Hopefully that fits your stream. If it did, drop a fat like on the video. We stream five times out of seven times, five days a week minimum. We normally start streaming a lot more. We're growing pretty fast, boys. So let's drop a like, drop, drop a sub if that did help. Make sure you come along to the streams. But anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.